Now, before I even get started with this video, I want to unbox this real quick. Shout out to homie Pete. He sent this out to me for review. Let's see what it is. I'm going to have this on the side of my video. Now, if you go to a movie theater, this is exactly a light box. So you also get emojis. Oh, so you can also take batteries too if you want to use this portably. Oh, that's cool. It takes USB. I thought it took a DC in. And there you go. Okay. You guys can see. This is very, very cool. I'm just going to use it as like, a, you know, just show my name and the amount of subscribers I have on the road to 20k so let's make that happen before the year ends i know it's gonna happen before the year ends but for now let's move on to the tweaks of the week <laughs> i'm still rocking out with this um so this is the brand new iphone 10 it's running ios 11.3 and it is freshly jailbroken but i'm here to give you guys some brand new tweaks of the week the show must go on all right guys so this first tweak is called gravity and this is a very very cool tweak it's just gonna move your icons or it's supposed to happen there we go look at that so now it just used the accelerometer on your iphone i believe this work on the ipad too as well and as you guys can see you could play around with your icons play around with your springboard and really it might be a silly tweak but it can be very very handy because now it's good for one hand use so i can get to the facetime for example um i can get to the podcast so very very easy access to the apps now this next week is called Chroma Home Bar X or 10 I should say Chroma Home Bar 10 and all it is is going to animate your your home bar on the bottom you can actually configure some of the settings um, so you have the spectrum you have uh, the wave I think wave is probably the coolest one um, it, it does require you to respring but really you could just exit the app and get back in and now it's back to, you know, it applies the settings. So wave is pretty cool. It just cycled through all the colors in a nice little wave form. So you can even uh, change up the animation intervals. A lot of settings to configure here. Now this tweak is called SS Gestures. Now SS Gestures, you take a screenshot. Let's say you accidentally took a screenshot, right? You didn't mean to do that. Now you can just swipe to the right side and that screenshot is gone. So now it's not saved into your camera roll. So that's pretty cool. And if I just do it again, and I don't know, swipe it on the other side, it'll save. Well, that's kind of like a crazy effect there. You have a picture of the the photos, um, the camera roll. Now this next tweak is called Tap Tap for Netflix. If you love to watch Netflix on your iOS device, this is gonna be a must install. Basically, if you if you watch YouTube a lot on your iOS device, you know that it's very, very handy to just double tap on the sides, either the left or the right, to just fast forward or rewind. Um, in this case, it's going fast forward uh, 10 seconds or rewind 10 seconds. And if you want, if you're on the iPhone 10, you can always uh, zoom in and out too. Now this cool little tweak called password text is going to allow you to change the passcode. As you guys can see, I changed it to what's the passcode, bish. Uh, you know, it's bish, bish. So passcode text. That's a password text. I'm in passcode text. It's going to allow you to change the passcode. So as you guys can see, it was passcode text. So you can type in anything you want. You can add in emojis. You can even hide the passcode if you don't have nothing to say. And yeah, very, very cool tweak if you want to just personalize your your lock screen home bar sizer is going to allow you to change the home bar size so you can make it skinny you can make it wide so i'm just going to show you guys some examples i'm going to make it as small as possible you don't really have to respring although it is recommended you could just swipe up and then go back into the app and now you guys can see the changes take effect so it's very very tiny you can't even see it at that point you may as well just remove it as you guys want you make it extremely wide but make it very very thin though in terms of the height and then now you're going to have something like this. Very, very minimalistic. And then you can have something really thick. Something like this, which is insane. Look how thick that looks. And just find your sweet spot overall. And that is called Home Bar Sizer. It is free. App Delete is just going to give you that better app control. Um, so if you don't want to delete Electra, you don't want to accidentally delete it, you could just toggle it on. And then now when you launch Wiggle Mode, once you enable Wiggle Mode, it's not gonna have that X on top of the, on top of the Electra. Um, I hope you guys can see. I know the gravity tweak is taking effect, but there's no kind of X on the Electra because I set it to that, um, you know, app delete. 
Now this next week is called Wish Daya. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And all it is, basically, you have a wish list in Cydia. So now this little booklet, I have all the tweaks saved. So these are all the tweaks that may be featured on this video. Certain tweaks didn't work out for me. And yeah, I just have a wish list of all the tweaks. So if you want to add anything to your wish list, let's say for example, I want to add, uh, I don't know, Eclipse. So I can add Eclipse. I can just tap on the book or the favorite. And now it's part of um, my favorites. Now, if I just got to launch back into the city of the star, and I just go on the top there by about, and now it's on, on top now. Low power DND &D, or low power do not disturb. Every time you enable do not disturb, it will enable low power mode. So now if I turn off low power mode, it's going to turn off. If I turn off do not disturb, it'll turn off low power mode. If I turn on do not disturb, it's going to enable low power mode. So very, very simple tweak. Now this next week is called size finder. So let's say you have a bunch of apps and you, you don't have enough space for nothing and you want to start deleting apps. What this tweak is going to allow you to do, you're going to exactly see how much space that app is taking up. And I saved the best for last. This tweak right here is called Sylph. This one was not easy to find at all. You actually got to download it. I throw a link in the description. This one is a pain in the butt to install, but I'm sure you guys that towards the end. Now this is going to allow you to customize your media player widget on the lock screen so um let's say i play let's say i'm playing some travis scott right here right and i lock my device you guys can see how neat that looks now so much cleaner so much neater you have your album art there you can scrub the music around if you like now obviously you don't have no volume controls you have to activate your control center and raise up the volume like that but you know it just makes things so much neater in my opinion and you also have other settings here too on to the jumbo and let's say I want to hide the album art. It's bringing back that full screen artwork on the lock screen. So a lot of people missed this from iOS 10. iOS 11 got rid of that and just made it like a widget or something like that. But, you know, this tweak kind of brings it back. And I'm not sure if it's compatible with Artsy. I should test it out right now. And wow, this thing is compatible with Artsy. Um, I don't know. It just looks good. And obviously, it's not the best settings for Artsy here. I just literally just installed it. Um, but yeah, I mean, once you fool around with the settings, that, that's, that's going to be a very, very cool tweak. I mean, I like it so much. It's just keep things minimalistic. You guys know how I feel about minimalistic setups and stuff. Now, real quick, I'm going to show you guys how to install this tweak. You're just going to go to the link in the description. Oops. And then it's going to take you to this. Now I have Safari plus, but if you don't have it, then you're going to have, um, the Fauza icon. You will need to have Fauza. You're going to need to open it in Fauza. Or if you have um, Safari Plus, you just download it into your downloads. Once you open it up in Fauza, it's going to come up like this. You just tap on install, respring, and you should have the tweak right there on the fly. Very, very simple as long as you have Fauza installed or any kind of file manager. And all right, guys, that concludes this week's tweaks of the week. Um, I apologize. This week is weak. Weak and weak on the weak side like not strong i mean i'm just now getting back into cydia now but i really do appreciate you guys watching and supporting me and if it wasn't for you guys i would never ever buy another iphone 10 i would have waited like everybody else but the best thing to do is just i don't know just search for an iphone if it's sealed look up the serial number ask for the um serial number and I'm going to throw this link in the description. You can look up the serial number and then you can see if that device is on a jailbreakable firmware. So, yeah, that's what I did. This iPhone was sealed. It was completely new. And I looked up the serial number and I saw 11.3. And you know what? I did it. And yes, guys, I installed the tvOS 11 beta software. So this is going to prevent any kind of software updates on iOS. You guys killed me in the comments. And this is the first thing I did on my iPhone. Thank you for that. I mean, I know about this, but once you're on the jailbreaking side or the jailbroke side, um, it's going to automatically block all updates. But as you guys know, my iOS device crashed and went to normal iOS and it just updated. But thanks anyway. So guys, subscribe if you're new around here if you guys want to see more jailbreak videos with notifications on. Drop a like on this video. Help me out a bunch. I just got to shout out my boy Aaron. Thank you so much for donating. Every little bit counts. And I got to say, man... Just because of that, you guys really do love the jailbreak videos. It really showed me that you guys really care about these jailbreak videos.